everyone. As a PhD student, I have had to read a lot of academic articles and I noticed that in academia we use a lot of Latin abbreviations and personally I did not know what exactly these abbreviations meant in terms of the words that were used in Latin and what were the rules to use these abbreviations. So I ended up creating this video to compile the list of Latin abbreviations commonly used in academia. First on the list we have etcetera. This translates into and the rest or and others. It is used at the end of a list to indicate the list can go on. When using etcetera or etc., make sure items are of the same kind. Exempli grazia. In plain English, for example. But the literal translation is for the sake of example. Exempli grazia is used to provide a simple short example within parentheses. Note that it is not necessary to use etc. when using exempli grazia. Idest, which translates to that is, it is used to clarify what was previously mentioned i.e. provides within parentheses the equivalent of the term being clarified. Nota bene translates to note well, tends to be included in footnotes or endnotes and provides information that was deemed not crucial enough to include in the main text. Cofer means compare. It is used in footnotes and endnotes to compare two different articles. Tic. This is not an abbreviation, but is commonly used. It is italicized and placed in brackets next to the cited text to indicate that the typo or phrasing comes directly from the original text. Versus translates to against or as opposed to. This is used to express conflict or comparison. Circa translates to around or approximately. It is used to indicate that the number given is an approximation, i.e. not exact. Commonly used with dates. Etali translates to and others, generally used for publications with more than one author. For this, the first author is named followed by etali. Ibidem means in the same place. It is used in footnotes or endnotes to indicate that the same source was cited. Pasim translates to here and there or throughout indicates to the reader that the information cited occurs in different places of the work. So that's it for my list of Latin abbreviations in academia. If you have any other Latin abbreviation that you know and I missed in this list, please leave it in a comment down below and tell me how is it used. Um, also, if you like this video and you know someone in academia or someone that likes to read academic articles, please share this video with them and spread the word. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Missed the previous video? Click on that clip right there. If you want to get more videos, click on that subscribe button. Here's a bonus. Idem means the same person. It's used to indicate that the same author is being cited.